Hi students, coming to the next subject that is the data structures. So this is one of the important subject. If you want to do any programming, you need to know the concepts of the data structure. A data structure is simply, uh, it is a, just to store the data. Anything that stored data, you call it as a data structure. It's a common word. So let before going to explain what exactly the data structure is, first you need to know uh, a program, what the program consists of. If you take any program, a program consists of, it consists of two things. So what are the two things? One is algorithms and another is data structures. A program consists of two things. One is algorithm and next is data structure. Algorithm is nothing but it is a step by step procedure. So we already know it is a step by step procedure. Why we use this step by step procedure? A step by step procedure for solving a problem. That you call it as algorithm. Whereas data structure, a data structure represents the logical relationships. We call it as a logical relationship that exists between individual elements. So, whatever the elements you are taking, so it's going to uh, show the logical relationship between the individual elements of data. So, whatever the data is of data to carry out certain tasks. To carry out certain tasks that you call it as a data structure I think you didn't understand what exactly it means so a data structure is a logical relationship that exists between individual elements of data to carry out certain tasks so let me explain clearly a data structure actually deals with the study of how the data is organized let me write that point a data structure deals with the study of it deals with the study of how the data is organized how the data is organized in memory data structure deals with the study of how the data is organized in memory and uh, the possible, uh, how effectively the data can be retrieved and manipulated, how effectively. So, in this video, I want to explain you, try to explain what exactly the data structure means. Effectively, the data can be retrieved and manipulated. How effectively the data can be retrieved and manipulated and the possible ways in which possible ways in which different data items are logically related or logically related. So that is a data structure. A data structure deals with the how the data is organized in memory. How it is going to, uh, so if you take whatever the memory you are taking, so in the memory, how the data is going to be organized. And so whatever the data, so how this data is going to be organized in memory and how effectively the data can be retrieved and manipulated. So how effectively we can take the data and we can place the data retrieved and manipulated also and the possible ways in which different data items are logically related so this is just the study of data structure so let me explain uh, how we are going to select the data structure selecting a data structure so what are the rules, what are the conditions that or that we have to follow if you want to select any data structure for our program. First thing is, first thing is you need to analyze the problem. First thing is, 
analyze the problem. So first analyze the problem to determine the resource constraints uh, a solution must need. After that you, you have to determine the basic corporations. Determine the basic corporations. First try to analyze the problem what exactly the problem was and next you have to determine the basic corporation that must be supported. Quantify the resource constraints of each operation. So after that you need to select the data structure. Select data structure that best meets these requirements. So first you need to analyze the problem. Next you have to determine the basic corporations and then you have to select the data structure to store the data and to manipulate the data. Now let us see what are the different types of data structures. So if you see these types then you will get an idea what exactly the data structure is. So the different types of data structures are Primitive data structure, non-primitive data structure, linear data structure, non-linear data structure. I think you uh, didn't get what exactly the data structure is even if you see these types also. What is this primitive, non-primitive, linear data structure and non-linear data structure. So let's see the examples for this. Examples are the primitive data structures are nothing but integer, float, character, double. So those are you call it as primitive data structures. So these are the data structure. Int is a data structure. Float is a data structure. Character is a data structure. Okay, why we are calling this as a data structure? Because it is going to store data. Integer uh, amount of storage. Okay, it's a capacity. How that? Uh, how much of data we can store by using these data items? Okay, so the data structure deals with the study of how the data is organized. So in the form of integer or the float or in the character. In the memory how efficiently the data can be retrieved and manipulated and the possible ways in which different data items are logically related these are the primitive data structures and what about the non primitive data structures so non primitive data structures are nothing but arrays structures stacks and linear data structures so linear data structures are nothing but uh, stacks queues linker list then what about the non-linear data structure the non-linear data structures are nothing but trees and graphs so these are all you call it as a data structures so these you also call as abstract data structures so another name for this data structure is the abstract data structures so why I am calling these as an abstract data structures because whenever you need to work on a large to store large amount of data and if you want to connect it the large data we use abstract data structures like linked list graphs trees everything except this okay except this except this all uh, all these called as okay abstract data structures so whereas integer and float and character this is only to store the data anything that can store it's a it's a size but whenever you are dealing with the large amount of data and if you want to connect the large amount of data so uh, store large amount of data then you need uh, abstract data structures like linked list array structures queues everything okay so this is about uh, what exactly uh, the data structure is. Let me uh, show you a small uh, flow chart like this. So let's take that this is a data structure. Here I'm just giving the overview of this. So a data structure is of two types. Whether it is in built-in data structure or you can use a user-defined data structures user defined data structures so again this built-in data structures the different built-in data structures are integer float character pointer so those are all the already built-in data structures 
and whereas user defined data structures are divided uh, arrays list and files arrays lists and files so these again uh, the list is of two types linear list non linear list linear list and non linear list so linear list or nothing but stacks and queues or called as linear list whereas non linear list or non linear list or nothing but trees and graphs so the support a data structure a data structure may be a built-in data structure or user defined data structure so the built-in data structures are integer float character and pointer okay and whereas the user defined data structures are arrays list and files so the list again divided into linear list and non-linear list linear list or stacks and queues and non-linear list or trees and graphs so this is just an introduction of the data structures so in this video i explain what exactly the data structure is and the, how you are going to select a data structure and the different types of data structures thank you